Hi KBB family, my name is Anne Javetsis. I'm Ashley Matura. And we're here to talk to you about how to handle anxiety. Why? Because we're at the new year. We just gave you some tips before in terms of telling you first Happy New Year, making it smart, getting your goals ready, your mindset, your nutrition, and your activity. Did I say that right? You did. Okay, perfect. Yep. Thank you. So now we want to look at some people are going to start wanting to go fast, go crazy, go to unrealistic goals, because even though I told you last time, I'm sure some of you are already like far in their way. And so we want to help you deal with something called anxiety and also um, unrealistic expectations. Exactly. So that can give you anxiety. Time. Yes, that's true. That's very true. So one of the things I'll talk about real quick is those of you who wanted to eat better and exercise better, few tips I'm going to give you is one, find something that works for you and think of it as a lifestyle and not as a diet. A lot of people are going into fads and doing these quick weight loss things, um, which honestly will probably do more harm than good. So find something that works for yourself. Example for me, my lifestyle for the past five years, I've been doing intermittent fasting. Um, something new the last year has been OMAD, which means one meal a day, which is crazy to people. I know what? you eat two, you like six meals a day. Um, did you say one meal a day? Yeah. You like go to sleep the rest of the day or what? Yeah. You eat like so one. So I fast okay. 16 hours a day and I eat one main meal <laughs> Sorry. after I work out. So I also train fasted, which Ouch. is good for everybody. Um, but I train fasted. I fast for 16 hours. I do my main meal and that's what works really well for me. I also toy around with the carnivore diet as well as high fat, low carb. I kind of tinker with there, but that works for me. Some that might be a little bit extreme. Some people need to eat five, six times a day. Some people need more carbs than other people. So with that, I want you guys to try different things for yourself. Slowly go into it. Don't just jump into something and same goes for your activity. Don't say, oh, I'm going to go to the gym five days a week, especially if you're someone that has a little experience. Start with just a couple days a week, get your feet wet, get in there, uh, get active. Don't put a lot of pressure on yourself. Don't have these expectations of big drops of numbers if it's for weight loss. Um, again, you, you, that mind frame you want is longevity and lifestyle, not necessarily just weight loss. Um, and if you're someone that is obsessed with the scale, maybe ditch it and go with how your clothing fits versus the number on the scale. And for myself, I sit at 150, 155 pounds, but my body fat is sub 20%. So weight sometimes doesn't really mean a whole lot. The important thing, as Ashley mentioned, is your mindset. The idea here is make it realistic. So a lot of people, when they start the new year, they're always running and they want those, you know, lose all that fat that they had from the turkey or from this or from that, from all that eating. And so what happens is that, you know, they want to go to the gym and lose it all fast. And then they're waiting. Okay. I look too bad. I can't go here. I can't go there. In terms of work is the same thing. All right. If you're a high performer, make it so that you are performing, but don't get yourself anxious about it. And please, if you're, if you own a company, have a lot of employees uh, or even your family, you know, give people a break. Don't get them to be, get anxious because of your unrealistic goals. All right. The world's not going to end. There's going to be 2021. That's right. 2021 right afterwards. And so we want to make sure that you make it there. Okay. And you are going to succeed success. Again, there's a lot of different ways to succeed. Maybe you want to redefine it. Maybe you want to look at it. You want to look in terms of goals and outcomes for this year. If you get anxiety, it means that in the future, whatever you're thinking of your beliefs right now, they're not alignment with the real future that it, this is actually there, okay, which your own future self. So it's going to tell you, you know what, that's not an alignment. There's something wrong with the way you're, it's not wrong, but your belief is not an alignment. And that's why you're getting the anxiety is to tell you, you know what, calm down. You know what, look at it again and look at how am I feeling about this? All right. What are the beliefs? What are the thoughts? What are the attitudes? And what are the decisions and choices that I'm taking right now? that are making it so that I feel anxious or overly stressed. There's no use stressing. If you're going to create success or your own life, create in a way in which you're mindful and in a way in which it's harmonious, because the most important part about success is just fulfillment. And that's what you want to get that balance. Correct. All right. And I'll leave you with that. You have anything else to say? That's it. That's perfect. All right. That's good. It's time to go. That's our timer. That's our shut up timer. <laughs> All right.
So we'll let you go. Thank you very much. And we'll see you in our next video, which will be on probably handling stress or something else. We'll figure it out. Okay, that's good. All yeah. right. If we notice you know? that we're dressed the same ways because we're all shooting this in one time, because there's this like a snowstorm or ice storm coming. Both um, actually. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Um, I live here, so it's, it's going to be hard for you, but you'll, you'll make it. I've got a wheel drive. It's, it's all good. So that's why we're dressed the same way. We promise next time we'll wear the same clothes, right? All right. We'll let you with that. Take care.